Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, we're gonna talk about what text records are within the context of the domain name system. So if that's something you're interested in, I invite you to stick around. All right guys, just so we're all on the same page here, a TXT record or a text record is just one of many resource record types in the domain name system. Now there are primarily two uses for text records, which include number one, email spam prevention, and number two, domain ownership verification. We'll talk about each one of these in this video, but first, just in case you're completely new to the world of DNS in general, the most common DNS record is an A record, which essentially maps a human readable domain name to an IP address. Whether you know it or not, you use DNS every single time you go to a website, and if you wanted to, you could actually type in the IP address of 172.217.11.174 into your web browser to go to Google. But I think we would all agree that it's much easier to just go to google.com instead. Now, on the other hand, like I said, a text record contains some sort of information in the form of text. In the case of domain name ownership verification, oftentimes you'll be asked to add a text record to your DNS settings for your domain name that might look something like this. Since you're the only one who has access to the DNS settings for your domain name, you can essentially prove to an external party that you do indeed own your domain name by publishing a string of text in the form of a DNS text record. When the third party queries this text record and sees the expected value, it can safely assume that you are indeed the owner of the domain name. So if that makes sense, let's go ahead and do an example. And in this case, I'll add a text record to tonyteaches.tech with the value of hello world. The cool thing is anyone, including you, can query the DNS text record for this and pretty much any other domain name. You can do this with a website like dnschecker.org by typing in the domain name and changing the text record to type txt. And as you can see here, the value of hello world shows up as expected. You can also use the dig command to look up the DNS text record with dig tonyteaches.tech txt, and you'll see that we get the same hello world value as a result. Now, as I pointed out, the other reason to add a text record to your DNS settings is for email spam prevention. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing, but this can be done with SPF, DKIM, and DMARC records, which are technically text records, but sometimes you'll see SPF listed as its own record type, like on Google Domains, whereas at other registrars, you'll only find the text record type, which in these cases can be used as an SPF record. We'll talk about how these records prevent spamming, phishing, and other malicious activities in another video. But for now, you just have to know that in addition to domain verification, text records help with email security. Check out some of my other videos on DNS settings over here. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.